Housewives of Beverly Hills star Yolanda Hadid is on a mission. The mother of supermodels Gigi and Bella Hadid is opening up about her struggle with Lyme disease, chronic Lyme. It's her beautiful new book. It's called Believe Me, Trying to Raise Awareness. And I recently had a chance to sit down with her and we talked all about it. She really wanted people to understand what it is to have Lyme. Tell us how you're doing right now. I'm doing actually really great. I'm about, I think, 90%. I mean, I still have some brain issues where, like, my scanner is off, where sometimes I have a hard time with word retrieval and things like that. People didn't believe you. They're like, you can't, we'll get you. You're not sick. Yeah. This is such an invisible disability that didn't just happen to me, that happens to everybody that suffers from Lyme, including my own daughter, who is on the cover of magazines, yet people don't know how much she really struggles behind the scenes, you know? And your son as well. How severe is it for them? Well, Anwar is okay. I mean, he's been treated for two years and he's really good. But Bella still, it's something that she deals with every day of her life. You know, in so much pain and joint pain and brain fog and severe exhaustion. And it's, it's a nightmare. I don't remember what it's like to be normal. You wondered forget. when you accepted to do the role on Housewives. Mm -hmm. Like, hmm, now why am I, to give you a platform to be able to speak about this. The minute I got on the show, I got sick. I've never worked on that show with a normal brain. Like I was always struggling and trying to just hold on and keep my job. You are just so incredibly open to read that you thought about taking your own life. You know, I think in that moment, I was just so desperate in so much pain, like sweating on the bathroom floor in some hotel in Florida trying to please other people, I remember laying in the ocean and just going like, just take me. Like, I just cannot live one more day. And in the same moment that I thought that, the picture of my kids came up and I'm going like, what are you thinking? I'm sure there's many people that get to moments where you just go like, you throw your hands up in the air and go like, I've tried everything. I just cannot go one more minute. Why do you think there's such a misunderstanding about why? I think there's a misunderstanding because there's no education. I think that people have judgment of things that they don't understand. The first case of Lyme disease was diagnosed in 1975. We're now in 2017 and there's still no cure. The CDC mm -hmm. says that chronic Lyme doesn't exist. Well, I'm here to tell you that it does exist. And you, you were know? very honest about it. You had resources, but yeah. it didn't guarantee anything. It didn't guarantee anything. And, and also, yeah. you want to make sure that people don't, who have such limited resources, that they don't waste their money on something. Yeah. We all deserve to get the same treatment and the same chances in life. Feeling that you're, you know, more privileged than other people and can get certain treatments that others can't get. I mean, that was like, that makes me emotional because that is the worst feeling of all of it. I've had the pleasure of meeting your daughters. They are the most down-to-earth, approachable, lovely young women. How have they helped you through this journey? There was nights that Gigi was in the car driving me to the hospital, the two kids holding me in the back. It's brought us closer, it's made us stronger, and you know, we're all out on the other side and, and just enjoying that closeness of our family. Someone picking up your book, believe me, what do you want them to walk away feeling and knowing? Probably just hope. You know, hope and education. Life isn't perfect. You know, we all struggle every day and that's just normal. You know, everybody has the same struggles, but it's okay, it's life. Yeah. I'm telling you, the way she writes about it and talks about it, the invisible disability yep. and people, and she was getting hammered on social mm -hmm. media. Uh, and, and you're kind of like in a brain fog with Lyme and to have chronic Lyme and then two of her children, but she really wants to, and she kept using a phrase that my mama said, she's making her mess her message. And it's a beautiful message and a powerful message. And Believe Me is available right now as well. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.